Hello friends, today I'm going to show you how to build SQL Server 2022 real uh, DBA real-time home lab uh, in VMware workstation uh, whereas the multi subnet uh, to mimic that multi subnet environment in our home lab to do whatever R&D what uh, we want to do so for that uh, I already done 2022 DBA real-time home lab if you go to my channel here I have done that before going this watch this subnet um, multi subnet video I strongly recommend to go watch this watch this video okay I'm going to pin this video uh, as well in the description box so to make this video simple and clean so i'm going to explain on the uh, how i build the configurations and everything about the networking part remaining whatever i have done it is i have shown in the previous one day so i will the, my i am keeping this video contest to only networking part why because yeah networks in multi subnet environment networking is very important okay i'm skipping all this see here i'm having three missions one is active directory node one and node two okay so all the steps are same so before to simulate the uh, multi subnet environment we need to create the two switches okay one is one 192.168.1.0 uh, which is vnet2 it is a switch okay and we need one 192.168.2.0 we have i have created two switches okay so this is uh, i have kept all the vms networks for this is the node domain controller uh, network i have kept adapter adapter in vm net 2 which is 1.1 1.0 okay 2.0 it is 2.0 1.0 and 3.0 this one okay so node 1 is 1.0 node 2 is 1.2.0 uh, so if you go here see this is my dc environment first adapter this one 1.50 adapter and yeah, loop back up loop back address and this is the second ip address so i have created dc for only two ip address and this is the respective ips uh, this is the um, like um, node 1 IP address okay so 1.51 is node IP subnet mask default gateway is that uh, domain controller uh, IP and this is the DNS and alternative DNS we need to give the another network IP uh, another another network domain IP okay so this is also same 2.51 uh, 2.50 50 1.50 okay remaining all are same and one thing what we need to we need to install routing services to simulate that we need one router so we don't have the router right so um, coming to this uh, we need to install that uh, routing access service we need to install once you get installed you need to open that and use that uh, configure enabled routing and remote access you need to select the custom configuration LAN routing and uh, expand this and uh, come to IV4 and expand new routing protocol select IP version protocol here and new inter once it is done come to rip new interface select the IP Ethernet 0 click OK just click OK and again come back do the uh, uh, again select uh, one new routing interface select either one plus OK so you once you have done this okay so once you done that go to DC so you finally you get this kind of output Okay, so I, if you want to see here, come back. So the all everything should be here. Your it should be upper uh, here. Uh, if you have configured everything correctly, network here. Make sure that your domain name should appear here. Okay, for every adapter, which is part of the, your systems. Okay, so if you want to see here, just you can see that properties. Okay. So once it is done, so you almost you have done everything. So once it is also done, what you need to do is you need to um, use the connection parameter. Uh, if you are getting connection timers, multiple multi subnet failure is equal to true. You have to use this parameter uh, while if you are getting timers. Okay. So if you want to go to see node one. So you can see Ethernet 0 which is 1.0 so this is the one
see this is also same so now so before doing anything okay one, uh, once you install all three machines in respective ips you need to check the communication open cmd prompt ping uh, node 1 yeah node 1 is pinging okay so again node 2 yep so from dc to uh, other networks communication is fine okay now i you need to disable all the firewalls in all domains okay come to node 1 sorry come to node 2 and ping node 2 yeah node 2 is communication is fine ping dc now nah, dc is also fine here so uh, communication is happening okay and again go back to the node 2 ping node 1 yeah node 1 is also fine ping dc yeah dc is also fine see it means communication is working fine so once you can establish communication properly you can do n number of practicals you can install sql server you can do that okay everything so while building cluster you need to give those two ips that is the only difference remaining everything is same okay so i am going to ping this article as well uh, okay just go through that all this I hope you may like this video if uh, you have any doubts just comment those ideas I will reply as soon as possible I hope you may like this video and uh, the main aim, aim, aim is to keep this video as simple as possible thank you